What's up everybody and welcome back to another video on SAT math from the Scalar Learning Channel. This video today is one of the most important videos I've made because it is simply my number one strategy for how to tackle math on the SAT. So if you've watched my channel, you've watched a lot of my videos, they're very detailed. They go into the nuances and the specifics of the test, but this one is very broad. When you first hear this tip, and even though it's so important and so essential, when you first hear this tip, you might be like, wait a minute, that's a little bit silly, that's a little bit simplistic, but I'm gonna explain exactly why this tip is so incredibly important. And so here it is, my number one tip, if you're ready for it, is simply do the math. Why is this my number one tip? Why am I saying something so simplistic and obvious? It's because I'm trying to counteract the mantra that gets repeated over and over by all these other test prep companies and tutoring organizations. What they're trying to do is convince you that you don't need to do the math and that you can beat the test without learning the actual core concepts. Why are they doing that? Because there is an inherent fear with so many people that they won't be able to conquer the math. So they're looking for any way out, any way to get around those formulas and those processes, etc. Plain and simple, it's a marketing and business tactic to play into those fears. Hey, we're gonna help you out and you don't have to learn the math. You can do it our way and it's a special way. But the truth of the matter is, regardless of the fact that it's multiple choice, regardless of the fact that there are patterns and tactics that you can use to break down the College Board's formatting of the SAT, at the end of the day, it is a math test. It hits the core concepts from as low as pre-algebra all the way up to algebra two, including geometry. And yes, while there are great tactics built into each subcategory, which I've showed numerous times on my channels, at the end of the day, I don't want you to run from the math because trust me, if you put in the time you watch the resources, you work with people if you have access to, to good tutors and good teachers, you absolutely can learn the math. And by the way, the amount of math on the SAT is not huge. It's a small universe, 41 categories to be exact. If you open your mind to the possibility, regardless of whatever has been happening in the past in math class or whatever, if you open your mind to the notion that you can indeed learn these concepts, which I know you can, your performance can completely improve. I hear a lot of tutors heavily promoting the idea of elimination, for example, as a strategy, which definitely can be used, but the way I want my students thinking about it is that is when your back's against the wall. That is when you're really not sure what to do and you're gonna optimize your odds. But what I want you to focus on first and foremost is really trying to understand the math. And that's what this whole channel is about. There is a wealth of information here where you can try and figure out how I'm solving the problems, the concepts behind them, etc., so that you can just straight up tackle it and do the problems without even looking at the multiple choice answers. For all the students that I've worked with and all the students that have come to this channel, that's what I've seen for those who have been successful they actually dive into the math, look at the math, figure it out, aim to learn it, and there's their success. Again, the reason why I'm making this video is because I'm trying to put it out there to let people know that when you see a lot of these ads or hear people say, hey, we got another way, it's all about strategy, this and that, I really feel like that's the wrong approach. And I'm not just saying it, I've seen it over and over with the students that I've worked with, or moreover with my experience, with my performance on the SAT with loads of practice, and granted, I don't want anybody to put in the amount of hours that I have to understand and break down this test, but what I'm saying is what I've realized now is that it is a finite universe of math and it can be understood and you can develop mastery if you focus on the right parts and put in the requisite practice in a relatively short amount of time. Treat this test prep process as your chance to really get solid with the fundamentals of mathematics so you set yourself up for college and beyond if you do want to do something involving mathematics like work in engineering or the applied sciences etc. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please click that like button and if you want to see more from the Scalar Learning channel make sure to click subscribe. I wish you all the best of luck in your SAT journey and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.